today. New England Coffee's Blueberry Cobbler coming up right after this. Hey everybody, what's going on? Welcome back to JRX Reviews, and yes, I have been slacking lately. I'm sorry, please forgive me, but I have just been all over the place doing different things, and just, well, anyway, I'm here, and I've got New England's Coffee, Blueberry Cobbler, and this shit's pretty amazing. Now, for all you guys who don't really know that I'm the huge coffee drinker, us here at JRX Reviews, we take our coffee seriously. How seriously? <laughs> okay, with that being said, was, you know, again, I'm 48 years old, and I remember coffee when I was a kid. It was basically this. Let it on, let it. Let it. <laughs> it. It was. You had no special flavors. You had the Folgers. You had the Maxwell House. You had a couple other brands. And then me being Sicilian Irish, when my grandfather or my uncles would come over, we had the espresso, we made the cappuccino, and it was what it was. So, you know, and, and not to mention, coffee was a pretty big deal in my house growing up. And if the coffee didn't get made, well, it was kind of like this. <laughs> Yeah, it was kind of like that. No, seriously, it was like that. Just, We're just not going to get into that right now. <laughs> no, we're not. And, you know, and then again, you know, you know, coffee, you know, being a Northeasterner in Jersey, coffee is a major thing in life. I mean, all right, to be honest, a lot of people are not coffee drinkers. I get it. I'm not slamming you. It is what it is. You probably like a lot of things that I wouldn't touch with a 10-foot pole. Again, we're different. We have opinions. I'm not here, when I do my reviews, I'm not here to tell you what's best, what's not. I'm telling you what I like, what you might like. And the only way for you to find out what you would like is to try it yourself. I'm just here to put the idea in front of your face. And in your happenings, if you like to order it, the link is always in my descriptions. Or if you're walking around a local friggin' Walmart or A&P, Pathmark, or Food King, or wherever it is that you're shopping, and you see it, you go, oh, yeah, I remember this. Maybe I would like to try that. That's it. No harm, no foul. And, you know, it, it, you know, it, it, again, you know, when I was a kid, either the coffee was made at home, or... It, you know, before school, I'd go on a Ralph's Luncheonette, or you'd go to Blimpy's, you know. You, you, I, I'd, I'd grab my small coffee, milk and sugar, or my Coca-Cola or Joke Cola in the morning and enjoy my days at Columbia High School. And the teachers wondered why I was so hyper. And, well, <laughs> surprise! <laughs> but today, I'm here to tell you about New England's coffee, the blueberry cobbler. And I'm gonna tell you right now, I can smell the blueberries through the package. This is how awesome this coffee is. All right, at least in my own opinion, you gotta be careful nowadays. Some people, you know, eh, but we're not gonna get into that right now. But what we are gonna get into, we're gonna get into some of this. So I'm gonna go make a cup and be right back, okay? Okay. Okay, I'm back. Now, again, we're gonna try this two ways. First off, uh, Raider Nation, just saying, just putting that out there. <laughs> anyway, uh, <laughs> ah! um, we're gonna try a black, no sugar, no creamer, no nothing. As I says, I know a lot of you individuals out there like your coffee, just plain. And it's, there, there's sometimes either I forget to buy the creamer or 
I get a migraine, whatever it is, and I just want to, I just want a black cup of coffee to go, you know, drink before my workouts or whatever. So, pretty awesome. Again, you taste the blueberry, and it's not bitter. At least, as as that you guys all have your conceptions on what a bitter coffee like, like a lot of you guys love Starbucks I don't see how I just don't see it can't do it I I, I, I even with the creamer and sugar that I I would put in it, it it's still the most bitterest coffee I I'd rather chew wood no no how much wood could a wood chuck chuck a wood chuck could chuck wood I'd chuck wood chuck chuck I would chuck wood well you guys know what I mean here just saying. <laughs> now, and, and again, you know, you taste everything in it. You see, a lot of these flavored coffees, you know, they say they got vanilla bean, they got this bean, that bean, whatever it is, but you don't taste it in the coffee. You taste a hint of it. And pretty much, this is more than a hint, which is also pretty awesome. Now, today's creamer of the day is Southern Butter Pecan by International Delight. And um, this is pretty awesome. I, I, I love it. I like to switch up creamers because I just like to switch up creamers. Just I, Sometimes I like the Oreo. I like the Snickers. I like this. I like that. Whatever it is. And again, all right, when I was a kid growing up in Jersey, I'd go to Ralph's Luncheonette and you either had the little creamers, you had milk, you had whatever. There was no real creamers. I mean, like, like maybe in like the late 80s, early 90s before they closed. Uh, you can get like a little vanilla cream or, or whatever it was. But mostly any Jersey diner or whatever it is, you had coffee, half and half, or cream. That's just how it was. Now, I'm going to put a little bit of this creamer in here. All right, I meant kind of like a lot because that's just how I roll. I don't put sugar in it. Okay, I try to cut down on my sugar, this, that, the other thing. And these creamers, they have enough sugar. At least in my own opinion anyway. Now we're going to stir it up a little. And of course, you got to get the little dab off that spoon. Just saying, just putting that out there. And again, damn notifications, whoever that is. Um, never mind that. <laughs> Sorry. It, it, it happens. Again. Again, again, again. Good, strong taste, okay? With the creamer, you still taste that blueberry, okay? Uh, uh, again, a, a lot of these coffees, okay, when you put the creamer in there, you know, the, these, a lot of these coffees, you're just not made it the way this is. So, I'm not going to lie. This shit's awesome. If you want to try it, uh, the link is in my description, whatever it is, or you can just wait till you're just walking around the store. All right, but I like it. I love it. I want more of it. As a matter of fact, this is pretty much my feeling at the moment. Now we are so happy we do the dance of joy. Remember that show? That show was awesome. Love it. Oh. All right. So once again. We got the Blueberry Cobbler from New England Coffee, and I like it. If you decide to try it, I hope you like it as much as I do. And I'm Jersey. I'm out. Thanks for watching JRX Reviews. And I am going to go... Yeah. See you, everybody. You guys have a great day, awesome day. Enjoy your Friday. I know things are a little bit different right now, but... You know what? These times are going to pass. We're going to get past it. And be easy, everybody. I love you all. Be safe. And I'll see you when I see you.